I'm Maya Yoder from First Mennonite Church in Iowa City, and today we're continuing the journey to the cross in Matthew by looking at one of Jesus' interactions with the chief priests in the temple as they question his authority. So we know that Jesus has triumphantly entered Jerusalem, cleansed the temple, temple of its consumerist exploitation. He's healed the blind and the lame and cursed a fig tree. And now the temple authorities want to know who Jesus thinks he is doing all of these things. By what authority? Jesus gives a vague non-answer about John the Baptist and refuses to answer their question. As our author Dorothy Jean Weaver points out, readers of Matthew do already know the source of Jesus' authority. It's God. Through his baptism, teaching, healing, and words, we know that God has authorized Jesus for ministry. So I think one really interesting question that comes out of this Bible study relates to our authority as disciples of Jesus. Jesus authorized his disciples in Matthew 28 to make disciples of all nations and promise to be with them to the end of the age. And in thinking about what it means to be authorized to do something, I looked up some definitions and thought that the two different nuances of authorized might help us a little bit. So authorize could mean give formal approval or sanction to, or to confirm as authentic or true or trustworthy. So in thinking about our lives, how have we been either given formal approval for certain things or um, been confirmed as authentic and true in how we're living? I think this week's Bible study is a really great opportunity for some storytelling from our lives, thinking about how in your relationships, in the church body, um, just throughout your life, you have felt a sense of authorization. I think you could spend a lot of time on that. Um, and I think another word for it might also be calling, or you could think of affirmation of your spiritual gifts. And, and one of these questions particularly that I'd like to lift out of the study guide is this one. Do we know ourselves to be authorized for the lives we lead? If so, how has that happened? I think that could guide a lot of good discussion. And I suppose a follow-up question that you might bring into the mix is, have we ever been denied authorization for some part of our lives? Or tried something and then understood this this is not my calling this is not authorized by God and how do we discern all that as someone who is very much in a messy middle age I would love to know I think sometimes discernment can be hard um, but storytelling and being in community and wrestling with the scripture as a springboard for discerning that I think could help so blessings in your wrestling <laughs>